Welcome back from the Wells Fargo Center at the half, the sole lead Orlando, 41 to 27. I'm Lou Tilly, a Cosmo, Cosmo Denicolo, one of the owners of the Philadelphia Soul. And Cosmo, your team off to a terrific start, 6-0, trying to make it 7-0 tonight. Well, the last time we were 7-0, we went to the Arena Bowl and won, so there's a little bit of magic here tonight. We want that to happen. Uh, the team records 10 wins in a row, and if we could sustain this, it's going to be really cool because that 10th game would be in Atlantic City against Vegas in the Boardwalk Bowl. Cosmo, after tonight, the team goes on the road to Florida for a couple of games. Speaking of the road, not too long from now, the team will make its first ever visit to Los Angeles to play the Kiss. I'm Anything a, special lined up there? I'm really excited about that. Uh, Los Angeles is my second home, and you know, you just have to be careful because the Kiss, even though they're having struggles in their second season, any team that has Donovan McNabb, or Donovan McNabb, how funny is that? Donovan Morgan on their team is dangerous. Now, La La Land, where you're doing business now with Lee Steinberg and you're also your entertainment promotional company, you must have something special in the works for afterwards. Well, my, my former head coach had a great slogan. He said, only the winner goes to dinner. So I'm hoping after the game, we're at the Grand Havana Room in Beverly Hills uh, smoking a uh, victory cigar and uh, hopefully toasting a great victory. And the last time I had the coaching staff here, they had, there they had an opportunity to meet one of their heroes, William Wallace. Mel Gibson? Absolutely, yes. Interesting. He'd make a hell of a special teamer in the league. William Wallace would anyway. Uh, he's, he's be dangerous, that's for darn sure. <laughs> yep, good guy. Uh, you know, you, you're involved in the entertainment business now with a couple of your companies and in the sports representative business with Lee Steinberg. We saw at the Maxwell Awards and out at the Super Bowl. But we also see you're involved in some special, uh, I don't know what, know what you would call them, sort of charitable endeavors. You were up at the United Nations recently. I, had, I really had a, a great opportunity. I'm very proud to speak at the UN on the power of film. Uh, as a result of a charity that I'm heavily involved in, we were able to uh, fund and work with the State Department to uh, work with filmmakers in Iraq. And one of the filmmakers, Yasir Karim, uh, basically directed a film that was illustrating the difficulty his country goes through as a result of war and oppression and uh, how they deal with that. And it was. Uh, you know, very, um, let's say emotional, but very uplifting, though, that even in the midst of all that negativity, some good could be found. Listen, I'm running out of time. You and I are Philly guys. We both know that that movie, Rocky, was filmed in our old neighborhood, not South go. Philly, in the Kensington, Frankfurt, Richmond area. Now, the, are you, is it true, do you have something to do with bringing the stage show to Philadelphia now? I don't know how that got out, but I have to tell you, where it'll be coming out a little bit later, but for right now, uh, let's just say that there will be a rematch. Well, you could play the uh, you could play Mick in the corner in the in the version. In I the don't know about that. I'm, I know I'm not getting in the ring. That's for sure. <laughs> Cosmo Denicola has always got something going on with the Philadelphia Soul. You can check out his enterprises online right now at the half. His team leads Orlando 41-27. I'll go, be right back. Go Soul. Go Soul. 